All right, guys, so this here is the All Powers SPO 12 foldable solar panel. And as you can see, this thing is you know, about the size of a sheet of paper or something like that. It's really tiny and it's only just a couple inches thick. I've never laid this out, never tested it, never hooked it up before. So this is the first time. So come here and check this out. So you've got a nice, like a fabric, like a canvas type fabric on the outside. And then you've got these little pulls and they've got some Velcro there. And now I showed you guys this in my last video. I just opened it up and showed you where the connector is right there. Two USB A's, USB C, and a barrel connector. And then you got a pocket right here to store some of your little adapters and stuff. I uh, wish they'd have made that a little bit bigger, but I understand there's not a lot of room on this thing. But let's go ahead and lay this thing out. Okay, yep. Yeah. You got a bunch of little bitty solar panels. And actually, I, did, I thought it would be a little bigger. But it's uh, it's pretty small actually, so I guess let's see how easy. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it folds up really easy. I didn't know if it was going to be one of those products where once you unfold it, it's kind of hard to fold back. So I'm glad it's I'm glad it's easy to fold out. And. Uh, And then all the way around the thing, you've got little loops where you can hook it on. It did come with like four carabiners. They're inside the house. I didn't bring them out here, but uh, it's got plenty of places, even on the sides here, where you could hook it to something. Now, the only drawback to this solar panel is, you know, you're not going to be able to tilt it up with like a, a kickstand. Like some of those solar panels have a stand that holds it up. In the back, this one here just pretty much has to lay flat because it's it's so flexible. Or, you know, like I said, you can uh, hook it up to a tree or hook, lay it on top of a car or something like that. I've got the All Powers S300 portable power station here. And I told you guys in the last video I'd be testing it. Well, here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. You see I've got it plugged into the power station. And then I'm gonna plug it in here into the solar panel and it's kind of sunny today so it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see that and i'll try to cover it up but right now it's at 10 13 17. now keep in mind this is a 100 watt solar panel uh, but this uh the power station only use about i think 60 or 80 watts i can't remember exactly but it doesn't use it to its full potential and of course the solar panel is not going to be 100 percent efficient but you can see right there, it's uh, 28 watts and let's see, 25 watts. So yeah, it's it's somewhere between, mm, let's see, 21, 22, 21. And I guess because of the cloud of, you know. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got some, a big cloud up there that's shielding the, the sun, but we managed to get up to 30 watts. Now, this thing keeps fluctuating. Now it's 26, 28. I don't know how well you guys can see that on the camera, but you know, we, we managed to get uh, 30 out of it so far. But again, you know, it is sunny out here, but when that cloud moves right over the sun, it's <laughs> it really hinders it. And actually, this thing moves around quite a bit. It's, uh, it's got that MPPT uh, charge controller on the inside of here. You, there you go, 34 watts, 36 watts, 37. 39 and you see clouds that move over that sun really make a difference. I mean 42 43 Man, this thing's really just jumping up there But uh 45 I seen it looks like that's about where it's gonna be. It's about uh, 1 30 2 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, You know you see it's putting out 45 watts. That's not too bad for uh you know just laying it flat now i could angle it up and wait for that cloud to move on and i could get more wattage out of it but uh you know i'm not going to stand out here all day trying to find the op optimum wattage but it is a rated for a 100 watts do you hardly ever get 100 watts out of a 100 watt solar panel no not usually uh, but you can see that this thing is nice it is in a nice looking panel and it'd be a good panel to take camping with you because it does fold up pretty small and it'd be good to a good panel to have you know in case of an emergency all right so i just wanted to show the usb a 
uh, to USB-C cable right here and I'm going to show that you can charge uh, the power station and charge your phone at the same time you heard it and you seen it so that is pretty neat plus you've got another USB and a USB-C on there so you could you could charge multiple devices at the same time while charging this so it's just something to keep in mind for you know emergency things like a nice solar panel and uh, you know if you need something that collapses up and that folds up really small like this this would be good good solar panel so I've stayed out here with it and been playing around with uh, moving the solar panel around here on the on the bed and I was able to squeeze out like 44 watts out of it now keep in mind you know it's uh, like 1:32 o'clock in the afternoon and it's uh, I do have some big cloud cover up there I know it's gonna look sunny on the camera but there's some big clouds up there that's moving through and one minute it'll be you know 40 and then this next minute it will drop down to like 8 so you know uh, when those clouds move in it really does affect uh, a solar panel but you know it's really typical but uh, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the solar panel I love how it folds up and you know I, I think being able to fold it up with ease like that just makes it handy you know especially if you were going camping or prepping or something like that I don't think you'll find one that works any any easier than this one you know it's got everything that you need anyways I'm gonna wrap this video up I just wanted to show you guys this solar panel this here is the SPO 12 by all powers thanks a lot for watching